Hi, I'm Jeff Strang from New Zealand Fishing World and just running through our series of great snapper baits uh, and other species of baits too which I'll mention as we go along. Now this one we've done, we've done a stray line rig with the head pointing out to the ocean which is my kind of personal go-to most of the time. We've done a head rig version which is ideal for casting and it's still a great stray line rig. This time, you know, some days those snapper just don't want you to hold bait and, and cut baits can work really well. Now I know this is really simple in 101 but hey, that's what we're trying to do. So, it doesn't really matter if it's not a fantastic pilchard, actually as you can see we've already rigged this one and de-rigged this from a previous rig. But what I'm going to do is cut them in half. Now I always like to cut my baits in half on an angle, just an old habit, old habits die hard. And um, if you're fishing with a mate, it's normally a fight over who likes the heads and the tails. Personally, I prefer the tails, but for no other reason than that, than that they're just a little bit easier to rig. Anyway, so we're going to roll with one hook on these rigs. Really quickly tie this guy on. Pre-prepared bit of trace. Using a uni knot, uh, and there'll be other videos online on our site um, for a uni knot. Don't use your teeth to bite through trace, it's my favourite habit and I guess that's why my dentist does quite so well. Really simple tail rig, single hook trace, I like single hooks for these guys. Right through the lateral line, half hitch, maybe two on the tail, like so, and the appropriate weight of the sinker. Done. Too freaking easy. Now that will catch snapper when they're particularly hard on the bite. You know, it's little, it's not a great bait size wise, but it's going to get swallowed pretty easily, which is what you want. Plenty of oil coming out of the cut side of the bait, and um, it all helps as sort of a burly trail. Not so good if you've got a lot of sweep around, those kind of things, like Mau Mau, because they're going to pick away at it. But hey, it does work and it'll get you out of a jam sometimes. Just really quickly, I'll do the head, use the same rig. Whip that off and um, donate that little half tail to the ocean as a bit of burly. We're trying to catch some Jack Max, which we're not doing very well today at today anyway, but hey, every little bit helps. So, head you now, sometimes I actually do use two hooks on the head uh, just because they're a little bit harder to, to get to stay on, but don't really need to. So, just going to flick that guy through there. Lay it nice and flat down the side of the bait. And I do have a little trick here, which I don't know if I'm going to get to work, but I'll give it a go. So I just kind of put a half hitch around the nose, so a couple of wraps right behind the eye socket. you find that if you pull the, the nylon in, it just sort of starts to cinch down on itself and it kind of, it'll hold in place. So a nice firm wrap around the head like that, and then I'm just going to put a half hitch on there just to hold it down. Give it a good solid pull. And then you've got a stray line head rig. Again, luckily the current's the same today, we're using the same sinker every time. A little half inch sinker on the top. Away you go, another great little cut bait. Catch a fish.